Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the How To Series. In this episode today, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your device to iOS 11 public beta. Okay, so before you begin, you have to ensure that you have any one of these devices that you can see. So these are the devices that are currently compatible with iOS 11. So once you have done that, you have to ensure that you take a backup while you are still on iOS 10. So connect your device to your MacBook or your PC, whatever you have, and take a local backup via iTunes. Once you're done with that, let's get to the main process. So the first thing we will do is head over into the settings and check out that this is still running on version 10.3.3. So the first step that you need to do before enrolling into the beta program is go over into your browser of your phone and go into the beta software page of Apple which is at applebeta.apple.com the link for which can be found in the description below. So as the page loads up you'll see that there are two options where you get to sign up or sign in. Graham, I'll just head over and sign in. So as you head over into the page you can sign in with your existing Apple ID. So after you have signed in into your account you will be guided to the guide page for public betas where you can read more about the updated software etc. So the next thing that you need to do is head over into the stop bar and go to enroll your devices. So this ensures that if you have multiple devices like I do, like I have an iPhone and an iPad, it will ensure that only the devices that you enroll will actually get the update while it leaves all your other devices around you from these update notifications. So for that thing, the first thing that you need to do and it will ask you is to archive your iOS backup with iTunes which you can do separately before trying out and the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and download the profile over there. So you can click on the download profile button over there and it will just download and install the profile accordingly. So there it says the website is trying to open settings to show you a configuration profile. So we'll hit on allow and this will take us to the install profile page on the settings app. So the next thing you want to do is hit on install and hit on install again and then install there. And then you can just go ahead and restart your device. So after your device has restarted go over into settings again and we'll just go into the general section and software update. Now as you can see you have the iOS 11 public beta 3 available over there so you can hit on download and install and to request the update, download the update which is around 1.89 GB available for this device so it will just download the update and install it and that's pretty much it the device will rather automatically restart for you and install the software and you will be in the iOS 11 public beta 3 ok so with that done I hope you will finally be able to upgrade to iOS 11 so don't forget to leave your comments down below on how what you think about iOS 11 or how it is running on your device currently. However, if you are unsatisfied with the performance of your device once you update to iOS 11, I have another video which is coming up shortly on the same where you, I teach you how to downgrade your device to iOS 10.3.3. Remember the same steps also apply for any other future updates. So when iOS 12 comes out or iOS 13 comes out, you can follow the same steps once again to upgrade to those public beaters. So don't forget to bookmark this video in case you want to get a reminder on the exact steps to follow to upgrade to the newer OS. That's all from this video and don't forget to like this video and if you are new here and you want to see more of these kind of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Once again, all the video ideas like these come from people just like you from the Windrider community. So don't forget to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and suggestions. I go through them all the time and reply to as many of them as possible. Thanks again for staying till the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.